This is Granger Simpson. Uh, I'm an operations manager for the social and vocation programmes at the North East Autism Society. The way it was explained to me, and this is going back, so like in the 2000s when they talked about, so it lugged at the mind like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, and it depends what information you put up there. So they would say, if you put, asked a question, um, would you mind getting your coat? Um, we're going on the minibus because we're going swimming. So you've got all these words floating around in the head and they all need to slot into a certain compartment, okay? And because I'm saying to you, um, please, can you go and get your coat? Um, the word please, where does that drop into this equation? Whereas if I just said to you, coat, minibus, swimming, that's three key words that drops into place, okay? So the process inside it, it's very much easier to drop into place that way than to going through all this. Because the main thing with autism is, Politeness, uh, when we say please and thank you, all words like that really just add to sort of the processing where it's much easier if you can just use certain keywords to describe an activity. And that's the first thing that any new member of staff that comes into the North East Autism Society must be aware of. It's the communication in the language. Um, I think the way that looking nowadays sort of like with the technology around now when you look at your computer and you go on a search engine and if I put in um, let's say right, who makes the best tea in the world okay so Google will start searching all these things and the thing it'll start with is who so I will look for a person um, makes so is this construction are we talking about building something tea is it something begin with tea so Google search engines could come up with them um, Trump Towers do you really like sort of because it's looking for a person, it's looking for this, it's looking for that. So you need to be specific. And even with your computer, and for all the ability your computer's got, if I just said the key words, quality T, it would come up. I think the main thing is every strategy that we use has got to be person centred to the individual. Um, and that could be like a schedule, it could be a schedule that relies on two pictures. Now these two pictures are the two key words that they need to process what they're doing. And on these two key words, it could be code, uh, sorry, court, minibus. So that person knows that this is what's happening. You could go to four key words where you go in court, minibus, swimming, lunch. Okay. So you're actually giving the person, you're letting them know what the sequence of events is. So they're allowed to process that and you can reassure them as we go along exactly what part of the stage they're up to in the day. But when we talk about, it could be a photograph, it could be just one key word, it could be a written sentence, it all depends on the person themselves and what their understanding is and what they can process at one time. I think it's, it's parents, they obviously know their child or their sort of like the person that lives with them. So they know exactly what makes them tick as well. If they got in touch with the society, we can see a strategies that have worked for some of our service users, other strategies that's worked for other service users as well. And by getting together, you can come up with something like transferable skills that can maybe use from the society to another part of the environment. Everything down, take one step back, break it down, to decide the way you're actually speaking to the child. Are you seeing the relevant things that they need to do? Are they getting the key works? Are we giving them too much information? It's just got to be bite-sized pieces that they can process in their time as well.